and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Happy birthday, hope you're feeling grand, and all is well in your world. Uh, first things first, people, tube, before we get to this absolutely, stunningly, beautifully gorgeous guitar here, uh, I need to tell you, yes, long videos are back. And also, long videos three times a week are back. Six videos a week was just becoming too much for my mental... I couldn't do it. I was losing my will to even want to do it. And also, I just can't get to flow with short videos. Everything feels... I do apologize on my phone. My battery's nearly dead. But I can't get my videos to flow right. They feel stifled. And I really don't like it anymore. So I'm going back to my long videos with you. But with an added thing. So what I'm going to do from now on in my videos is I'm going to chapter them. And a lot of people have suggested I do this anyway, so I'm going to start doing it. So basically, in the description box below, from now on, there will be uh, timestamps to different parts of the video. So uh, every video, if you don't want to see the intro jams, because I know some people skip the intro jams and some of the, the playing kind of bits of the video and just want to hear kind of like the talky bit. Um, if you want to skip those, uh, description box below will have all that information. You just have to click on it and it'll take you straight to it, okay? So this is the first video, but three videos are back. Uh, three long videos a week are back, and uh, we're going to start off with this. So that brings me nice and neatly to this guitar, which is one of the best budget guitars I have ever played. Hands down, bar none, this thing is absolutely insane. This is a Jet Guitars JS100, I think. I don't know, I'm very bad with numbers, so I do apologise if I've, I've said that wrong. But honestly, when I say that, this is one of the best budget guitars ever, I'm not kidding you. This is ridiculous. Um, this came up for sale recently at a, a local guitar shop to me in Lincolnshire uh, called uh, Gallagher's Guitars. And massive thanks to Gallagher's uh, for this guitar. So uh, uh, Lee at Gallagher's, hello. Um, and he put it up on his Instagram uh, one night and me and Queenie were just kind of looking around. Uh, on our Instagrams to see things and that this guitar came up picture of this guitar came up and we immediately went in the next day Had to buy it. Okay, so before I tell you how much this thing costs I'm gonna give you specs people of you because it's insane, but honestly the fit and finish of this thing is Disgustingly perfect. This thing is amazing. I hope it's coming across okay on the camera uh, it's seafoam green people of the tube. Uh, it looks kind of blue in some light, but it's actually green. It's seafoam green uh, it's got a parchment scratch plate, parchment knob covers, pickup covers. Um, so that's kind of like, and that really looks great. It's a free, uh, free ply guard as well. Um, so, you know, in relation to kind of like something that I would consider budget, like say the Squire bullet, for instance. Uh, the Squire bullet has a single ply guard. Um, it's very white, very stark. This one, if I was to go between the Squire bullet and this guitar now, I would recommend this. Uh, as much as I love my Squire Bullets, this one just out outdoes it. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but not a great deal. I'll tell you in a minute about the price. Anyway, let's give you a bit more specs on this thing. So you got three ceramic uh, single coil pickups here. They're amazing. The staggered pole piece. It's a vintage stagger on the pole piece. They sound perfect. They. I, I, I hate to use that word, and I hesitate to use that word but they really do. This guitar sounds incredible. It's absolutely incredible. These pickups are amazing. Uh, it's wired uh, much in the same way a traditional Strat is. It doesn't have a tone control on the bridge pickup. It's just a set tone control for the middle, tone control for the neck, uh, five-way selector, master volume. Uh, you do have a, what is it, a M MVB uh, tremolo system. It's full full-size block. Uh, it's a zinc it's a zinc alloy block but it's full size you have folded steel saddles as well so vintage style six screw tremolo the tremolo feels insane as well this is one of the sturdiest tremolos i think i've felt on a budget guitar it's ridiculous and uh it's got the same tremolo uh brand that uh, revelation use on their guitars so mvb I don't, I don't know who makes that but uh it's got the same brand that revelation use and they're amazing the tremolo arm is uh, held in by a grub screw as well. It's not a screw in, it's just a, a grub screw, which again is amazing. It's so much better uh, than screwing it in and then eventually rounding out the zinc alloy and just ruining it. So yeah, ceramic pickups, uh, it's got um, 
Yeah, 250k pots in it. I say five way selector. The body is a uh, basswood body with the uh, the polyurethane uh, 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 seafoam green on it. Uh, free springs, bottleneck, obviously. Uh, we we'll get to the neck now. This neck, look at look how gorgeous this neck is. Look how just disgustingly gorgeous that is. So the neck is Canadian maple, but it's roasted maple. As you can see, it's got that real kind of like lovely kind of baked kind of brown kind of colour. So it's a roasted maple neck. And again, uh, companies do that to kind of create more stability in their guitars. And it, it really does work. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it because the neck doesn't move as much. Um, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, got 22 frets, uh, 25 uh, 25 uh, dash 5 inch scale length. So it's kind of like a standard kind of it was a strat 24. I don't remember. I get lost with the scale length thing. I'm no good with that kind of thing. Uh, double action truss rod, uh, you real bone nut as well. And I was initially like, that can't be a bone nut, but it is. It's actually a real bone nut, which is insane. Uh, it's a 9.5 inch radius on the fretboard. Uh, the frets are kind of, they're kind of wide, but uh, they're kind of vin vintage but wide. They're kind of like a 6105 kind of fret, but they're extremely nice. And it's just ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, people of Tube, uh, the only thing I've done to this guitar since getting it is take the back cover off, because, you know, I don't like those useless bits of plastic. Um, take the back cover off and uh, put the pickup height to my chosen height of pickup. And uh, that's it. I haven't changed the intonation. It was perfect. I haven't changed the string height, it was perfect. I haven't changed the tremolo, it was perfect. I haven't changed the strings, perfect. This guitar is just, and it plays on every fret. There is not a dead fret on this guitar. It's absolutely insane. So with all this stuff, um, the price of this guitar is 149 pounds. That's what this guitar cost me to buy. That is insane. Uh, that is actually insane. Like I say, the Squire Bullet, I think they're up to about 120 now. So, again, if I was picking between a Squire Bullet or recommending between a Squire Bullet and one of these Jet guitars, this one wins. It's absolutely amazing. I really... This has gone right in there as my number one favourite budget guitar out there at this point in time. It's just incredible. As soon as I played it in Gallagher's, I was just like... What? I, I, I just I went, I'm going to buy it. I just immediately had to buy it. And and uh, Queenie liked it that much as well. She's bought her own as well. She's got one of these as well now. Uh, one of the things I will say, people too, that is a negative to this guitar is they're hard to get in the UK now. There is, uh, they're, they are available around, but because they're an EU-based company, it, it, they're, they're finding it hard to get them into the, into the UK um gallagher's the guy from gallagher's said he's this has been on order since april this year and it's only just come in and literally it came in the day before i bought it and i walked out with it there was two telecasters in there as well and they felt great as well but i didn't really spend too much time with them but this guitar is stunning so there's the specs people tube this thing is to die for the action is to die for the neck is to die for it's just so good Jet guitars, people of the tube. I love the logo as well. Look at that logo. It's so cool. And the headstock's ace. I really love the headstock. Oh, yeah, and you've got these kind of like um, uh, jet branded just chrome tuners up here. They're not locking or anything, but they do the job. They hold it. They hold it. They really do. Oh, and the, the J001, by the way, if you can see that on the back of the headstock, that's just for me. That wasn't on the guitar. I've put that on myself. Uh, it's an identifying mark because... This is now going to be my guitar for live use uh, for standard tuning songs. Because uh, I've got my Chapman guitar, which is my main guitar for live, my Chapman Pro X. Uh, and that's in E flat. And that, that's majority I play. But I wanted like a strap for the standard tuning stuff. And so this is now going to be live, uh, gigged live. So this is my, uh, my standard tuning guitar for live. I just love it so much. It's absolutely amazing. Everything about this guitar is amazing. The sound, the feel... The tremolo, the electronics, everything is amazing. And for 148, 49 pounds, I have seen them cheaper as well. I think GAC has has them for 130 something or another. It's a no-brainer, people. Do this is one of the best, if not the best. I'm not. I'm, I I reserve judgment on that one at this point in time, but easily one of the best budget guitars out there, bar none. 
and Jet Guitars, you're doing an amazing job. It's incredible. I cannot waffle on enough about this guitar. Anyway, enough on that. Let's get to some sound. So I'm going to play this guitar basically in isolation now and let you hear it just with a pedal board, uh, just straight with no backing track. Uh, and then uh, I'll say my goodbyes and then we'll have a outro jam, people of the tube. And I'm going to expand on the intro jam uh, because I really want to do something more with that chord progression. It's really, really nice. So yeah, anyway, um, let's get to making some noise with this absolutely gorgeous guitar. The Jet JS100, I think it is, or something like that. Anyway, Seafoam Green, absolutely stunning. Oh. It's now become one of my best friends in the world. I love this guitar. So, let's make some noise. <laughs>
I don't know if it's you. There you go. That is the Jet JS 300. I correct myself. I had to look it up because I was I was sure I was wrong with the one I was right. Sorry about my phone. Uh, but yeah, it's the Jet JS 300. This guitar is absolutely immense. Oh, another thing to mention as well. Uh, the fret edges are rolled in such a way that... Oh my, it's just perfect. And I hate to use that word because it sounds so kind of like I'm being over top, but I'm really... This guitar is ridiculous. Like I said, I'm, I'm yet to even change the action height on it or anything. Um, it's literally how it came from the shop, apart from the pickup heights, which I've lowered, because I don't really like high pickups. If you've been around on the channel long enough, you'll know I don't like high pickups. So uh, I have lowered the pickups uh, to kind of like my... where I want them to be, my kind of like my chosen spec, if you will, people for Trump. Uh, but this guitar is insane. The neck is... An, I, it just feels so easy to play and so well made and everything just losing my mind people with tube 149 quid are you out of your tree there's no finished blemishes there's no dense dense wrong things bad fret work fret sprout nothing this is ridiculous I'm in love. I'm in love. That's, that's, that, that's all there is to say, people. That is all there is to say. So, yeah, the, J, the Jet JS300, people. Here you go. Like I say, mate, you've heard it in isolation. Now, what I'm going to do basically now is just get lost in the guitar and let it let music take me where it wants to go because this guitar is just full of it. And I can't wait to gig this thing live. I, uh, probably by the time this video comes out, I probably already have. Um, but, my God, it just feels amazing. Um... It feels like the strings that come with it are 10s. I could be wrong, but um, they feel amazing either way, what they are. They just, I don't know, they could be 9s. They feel more like 10s to me, though. Uh, but I could be wrong. I don't know. But either way, people of a tube, check out Jet Guitars. I implore you. I really do. Uh, I think they're a new company. And my God, if this is what they're churning out now, keep going. Keep going, it's amazing. This guitar is stunning. I say that the neck is absolutely incredible. It's a satin neck as well, people. It's not like a gloss or anything like that. It's not sticky. It's like a satin neck. It's just insane. Anyway, people, tube. I hope you enjoyed this vid. I will see you again uh, on uh, Wednesday, the start of December, for an A&Q Wednesday. A&Q Thursday is no longer a thing. It's back to A&Q Wednesday. And uh, we're doing four questions uh, instead of two. And uh, basically, it's going to be tangent time again and I can't wait. This just feels more natural. I feel like I can actually flow with this video a lot better than I can. Oh, got to make it really short and this and the other. So yeah, it might not be algorithmic safe, but it's more, feels more me, if that makes any sense to me, which I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but I feel happier. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this vid. Like I say, um, from now on in these videos, there will be chapters. Uh, so if you don't want to hear kind of like, you know, talking bit, you can skip through that to the playing bit. If you want, if you don't want to hear the playing bit, you can skip out to the talking bit. If you want to hear it all, thank you very much indeed. Um, like I say, massive thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Uh, like I say, you are, without you, I can't really do this right now. I'm, I'm so grateful to uh, my, 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 uh, my supporters on Patreon. And if you do like the videos I do here, please consider becoming a patron uh, Patreon, uh, it really, really helps. It really does. Um, yeah, it's it's Im it's immense how much that's helped me. It really has, and I'm able to do these videos for you, and yeah, I'm just forever grateful. So anyway, uh, thank you very much indeed for watching, everybody. I will see you again on Wednesday for another vid. Have a great one until then. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Let's go and get lost in the Jet JS 300. Get it right, Dave, because these things are insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, one of the best budget guitars out there, bar none. Really is. If you are, you know, if you're in, in the market for a, a strat. Oh, another thing I didn't mention, people too quick before I go. Uh, contour. There. Look at that. So when you get up here, it's like a comfort cut. So when you get up the dusty end, it's really cool. It's really comfortable. Just that little bit of wood they've cut out in that, in that bit there helps. I didn't even mention that. I'm glad I remembered that before the video. Anyway, let's get lost in this guitar. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Have a great one. Until then, goodbye now.